morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Morning Word. Thanks for joining us this morning. For those new to this, this is where I share a couple minutes really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I truly wanted to see your life go from here to here because I have seen in my own life personally through reading this book and applying God's wisdom, my life go through some of the hardest valleys that I ever thought I'd have to go through, but also to mountaintops that I never thought I'd reach. And I really believe that God wants to do that in your life too. The reason I say that in John 10, 10, God says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. And I really believe if we renew our minds, because God says this, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If we can think more and more like God, there is no valley that we can't come through and no mountaintop that we can't reach because there is nothing that is impossible for God, which means there will be nothing that's impossible for you. So let's really get into this. We're going to be reading from um, the Old Testament and we're reading from 2 Samuel, which is the 10th book of the Bible. And we're reading from chapter 24, verse 24, and it reads this. But the king replied, to Aruna, no, I insist on paying you for it. I will not sacrifice to the Lord, my God, burnt offerings that have cost me nothing. I'm gonna call this morning's word, are you prepared to pay the price? Are you prepared to pay the price? Now, uh, David at the request went up to Aruna to build an altar to, to God. Now, at this time, obviously you imagine King David has all the wealth and everything. But this loyal servant says, well, you want to build an altar to God? Like, hey, let me give you the threshing floor or the area that you can build the altar. But not only will I um, do that and give you this this area for free at no cost, I'll also give you the burnt offering. Now, that was an incredibly generous offer by, by this loyal subject. But David said, no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, but no, don't do that. He says, if I'm going to do something and offer a sacrifice to my God, it's going to cost me something. It doesn't, you know, to cost me something means he's got to come out of my own wealth, my own time. And what David was understanding here is if I'm going to make a, a sacrifice, it has to cost you something. It has to cost you something. But in comparison to the blessings that David had, it's even hard to use the word sacrifice. Because David had been blessed from being a shepherd boy to a king. So when it came to building an altar of worship and praise to God, really, what could David give? It was just a sign of what was in his heart. God doesn't need your money. He just wanted to see a sign, okay, to say that you're prepared to pay the cost and make a sacrifice showing that, you know, I'm prepared to do whatever it takes. And I think something we can learn from this, David understood that if you're going to live the call out life, you have to make a sacrifice. And I think a lot of the times we're desiring to live a call out life, a life that's different, a life that's buzzing, a life that's successful, but we're not prepared to pay the price. And what we want is everything for free. We want it all to come to us and we're not prepared to pay the, the price and we're not prepared, prepared, apologies, to make the sacrifice. So that really leads me to the question of the morning. The question of the morning is this. Are you prepared to pay the part price for success? Are you prepared to pay the price for success? Here's the lesson of the morning. Lesson of the morning is this. To live a called out life, a life that, you know, is in the narrow lane, in the small lane, a life that is full of abundance, a life that is successful, are you prepared to pay the price? And now that price may be time. You may have to give up your time for you to succeed. It may cost you money to succeed. It may cost you some of your friendships to succeed. It may cost you your popularity to succeed. But are you prepared to give up those things to get the life that you were really called to in the end? Now, the sacrificial living that you're called to In comparison, when you look at it, when you achieve the things that God really has for you, when you look back at your life, you'll be like, do you know what? It was a drop in the ocean and I would do it all over again. Now, at the time, it may seem tough, but when you get to that place that you were meant to get to because you were prepared to make the sacrifices, you will see that it's worth it. So if you have to get up early because you want a great Christian life, do it. If you've got a, you know, uh, tithe, do it. So you can have the financial blessings. If If it means that you have to study more, then do it. Whatever it takes, make that sacrifice. And that's really the action of the day. The action of the day is this. Whatever's on your heart that you have to sacrifice, you know what it is, your time, your money, your resources, okay, whatever it may be, your comfortability, okay, your comfort, okay, do it and don't delay, knowing that if you make the sacrifices now, the rewards will be worth it. The very thing that you're called out for, you will get the return on that investment. I promise you that. So make the sacrifice today so you will live the life that you were called to. So God bless you. As we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. 
please subscribe to Gen TV where you get these videos Monday to Friday. And also on the channel, there is so many other videos to help you in your fitness and your finances and things like that. So go out there, motivation to be blessed. Please leave us your comments. Let us know what you got from this scripture. What did you get from um, reading this verse in 2 Samuel? Was it the same as mine or did God give you a different revelation? But also if it encourages you and inspires you, let me know that as well because that's really a blessing for me as well. So God bless you and see you soon for another morning work.